my name is Dancy Pinkston, also known as Fearless Mama, and this is my Montessori at Home series. And I will be going through Colin's little uh, baby stages and her toys and sharing how we just explore and do Montessori at home. And I love, love the Montessori philosophy. My oldest daughter Landry is at Montessori school right now and I am loving bringing Montessori at home for my littlest daughter Colin's Clementine. And if you don't know already, Montessori encourages and fuels your baby's independence as she explores and tests her world. And what I love about this is that it encourages your baby to think and problem solve through exploration of their toys. And these toys are non-distracting. They don't have crazy buttons or lights. Um, so that your baby can really focus and use their brain, really boosting that brain development at specific times and stages in their life. And so with that being said, let's get started on this video. Okay, so as your baby is around five to six months, they are all about sensory. <laughs> They're all about relationships and distance to that relationship. So they are learning that they are their own little person and just growing in dependence and really waking up to the world and noticing just what's all around their environment. And boy, do they have an eye for detail, looking at every little string, every little crumb and tag, anything that deviates from the norm, they are looking and trying to search for something different. So right now, they are craving to explore different textures and sensories, um, like playing in the water, splashing in the water, um, and hot and cold, the textures of ribbons and um, something fuzzy, something soft, something rough. <laughs> so they're exploring with their mouth and they're exploring with sound and cause and effect. <laughs> And as they develop their motor skills at like reaching or raking or grasping, batting um, at the things that they see in their environment. So really just providing them the opportunity to explore is going to be huge during this five to six month stage. And they're really still learning to use their sight sensory. And a fun way to do this is by rolling a ball across the ground as they follow it and um, watch it go across the room. Or even play, playing peekaboo with them is fun as they see something go away and then come back up. It can be you, it can be a ball under a blanket. <laughs> And this all gives just a really great, rich sensory experience. Along with how they are craving sensory, they are actually also really learning about relationships and distance. They are just learning that they are their own actual little person and noticing the distance between them and you. So I love like before bedtime, giving Collins a great little lotion massage touching the top of her head and going all the way to her toes just to know that she is her own little person with her own little body. And um, it just really gives them a grounding sense where their body begins and ends. Another thing I love, love, love to incorporate is mirror looking. Also very much explaining that this is mommy and this is baby and um, just really as they are learning that 
that little baby in the mirror is them. They are just being encouraged in dependence and one day they will be able to notice and familiarize their face and notice one day that that's them looking in the mirror. At this time they can get kind of anxious or nervous that when you leave the room. So something that I love to do is say hi from a distance as I'm leaving the room. I kind of just say hi or bye bye. So definitely keep a smile on your face as you leave the room and practice independence and distance and let them know they're okay as they're learning this. Another great thing to do is learn about things that are inside cabinets, under things like we talked about the ball under the blanket, um, playing peekaboo that you can go up and down and behind things, um, hiding behind a chair and then popping out, noticing that Things can be behind things and then come in front of things. Um, you can open your kitchen cupboard, pull out a cup, and then close it. That is distance and that is learning relationship between two things. And another thing that they are developing is relationship between uh, sentences or words and an object. So taking things from their normal daily routine and pretty much only in their in their normal environment and their normal routine saying the same things at the same time they are starting to learn like okay we're getting in the car if you get in the car every single morning or good morning every time she wakes up or poopy every time you change a poopy diaper is something that we do. But another thing we love to incorporate is the body parts. And this also goes great with independence and learning who she is, um, body autonomy, things like that. And this is great because you can point to the baby in the book who is familiar to them. Babies love things that are familiar and real, like this book right here. It's real faces, <laughs> giant faces of little babies um, that they can relate to. And you can actually touch their mouth or touch their nose as they look at the pictures in the book. And you can do this without the book as well. I love to sit her on my lap and say, I love your eyes and kind of point to her eyes. I love your belly. I love your toesies, things like that. Um, where they recognize words and objects such as their body. So Collins got the Love Every Kit for Christmas and we love, love, love these. Um, I can just picture grandbabies playing with these and the next babies to come playing with these because of how they were made and the quality that they are. If you go and read about them on their website and blogs, um, they, you should see how many experts came together to um, make these toys and to just really provide a great, rich playtime experience. So I love and feel very confident um, that I am giving Collins what she needs, what she is craving at the right time with these play kits and that's what I really love about these. Um, I know that I have felt anxious at times, wondering like, am I giving Collins the right toys at the right time? You know, is this really boosting her brain? But anyways, you can definitely find um, beautiful toys elsewhere. But like I said, it gives me the confidence that I am, you know, giving her such great toys at the right time. But anyways, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure to watch our next Montessori at home video where we go over seven to eight month toys. All right, comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.